Okay, in this video we're checking out the Hawkeye Firefly 2 micro action camera. Uh, I've had this for a little while now and been getting some footage in various lighting conditions. You'll see all that footage at the end. It's going to cover all the specs here at the beginning. Um, come with this small box. Get a bunch of accessories here. You get this silicone cover case that you can put this on to protect it. You get a little plastic mounting bracket here uh, angled and has a tripod mount on the bottom. You could use this to mount this to your quad, uh, a micro drone for example to get footage, HD footage. It does come with this uh, little controller uh, cable uh, joystick here that plugs in on the side right there. That's to control the settings. Uh, there's no Wi-Fi on this one like you would see on a lot of other action cameras to, to change settings that you, or no, no screen or anything like that on here. So you have to use this. And then to see the settings, you have to use the, this included USB charging and video cable combo. So this little connector is proprietary and it plugs into the side right here. And you use that to charge the battery inside via USB or via power brick. Uh, the battery in there will last an hour after it's fully charged. And then this is the video out cable to look at your settings if you want to change them. But we'll just take a quick look at the camera itself. It's uh, 30 by 30 by 36 millimeters tall. That's the plug for the controller cable. The two buttons here on top, uh, power button and mode button. And you got your micro SD card slot here. I've uh, been using cards between 32 and 64 gigabytes, no problem. Uh, you got your little USB connector here, reset button there, nothing on this side or the back. And then you have um, your lens here with a glass protection plate. This is a M7 lens and the field of view is not super wide, it's like 70 degrees. So if you're more familiar with like GoPros with like much wider field of views, like say 140 degrees, it's like half the field of view of a GoPro session five, like something like this or in like say wide or super view mode. And uh, well, for size comparisons, here's what it looks like compared to a GoPro. Uh, smaller and lighter. Uh, here's what it looks like compared to the original Firefly one. See, quite a bit bigger. In the original. And then here's what it looks like compared to a Mobius Mini. And uh, this one does only 1080p. The Firefly 2 does go up to 2.5k. Uh, so you have 2.5k at 30 frames per second and then uh, 10, or 1080p at 60 frames per second. The bitrate is 40 megabits for both file formats. And then you have uh, 720p available as well as well as photo and video mode. So turn on, just long press the power button. A blue light here, I should turn on and you get your beeps. Three beeps and you're, you're turned on here. So if you have a red light here, that means you're in 2.5K mode. If you press and hold the mode button, it should turn blue, I believe. Okay, so if you long press the mode button, it'll change modes and then the blue light is um, uh, 1080p mode. And then if you long press the button again, okay, so there, here we go. So we have a blue and a looks like a purple light there. This is photo mode. Okay, so and then, okay, so back to the red light and we're back in 2.5K mode. And to shut it off, you just long press the power button. You should hear four beeps and that indicates that it's turned off. All right, so this is going to give you a weight comparison of this camera to some of the other ones. So I think this one's about 30, well, according to the manual, it's supposed to be 31 grams out here. It's 34.45 on my scale. The original Firefly is coming in at 15.7. Mobius Mini is coming in at 26.8. And this is the GoPro Hero Session 5. It's coming in at 72 grams. Okay, so I'm going to show you the uh, settings on here really quickly. You can change. And plug in the USB cable here. And then you need another adapter to plug into like a monitor. So I'm going to be using a monitor here with a AV jack that looks like a headphone jack. Plug that in. 
And then we need to plug in our controller cable. Now in theory you could fly this FPV and if you want to use the FPV signals of the video signal is going to come out of this but the latency is about I think it's about 50 or 60 milliseconds. I'm going to turn this on and with all this extra wire here it's not really all that practical so I wouldn't actually do it myself. So here we go you can see the camera you can see the, not a whole lot of latency you can see I'm moving the fingers in front of here but yeah I wouldn't recommend trying this FPV. See on here you got your OSD from the camera, 2.5k mode, the battery charge, and then you got your timer. Oh, you got pilot name on there and your voltage. This uh, red voltage here is the voltage of the monitor. And then to get into the settings you're going to um, left click here, so on the left uh, button here shows your video resolution. Uh, so you can go in here and change these if you want. So you have 2.5, 1080-60, 1080-30, and 720-60. Video quality, fine, super fine. Video clip time, loop video, external voltage, I turn all that off. Uh, video time lapse, you can do time lapse if, if you want. Quick record off, sound record on. This is the mic volume. Um, you can change that if you want. Microphone isn't all that useful, especially on anything that's like a micro. It's going to be pretty loud. So you hear that later, and I'll actually end up turning the volume off. Metering mode center, exposure zero, white balance auto, color natural, effect normal, contrast zero, saturation negative 30, and sharpness negative 30. So these are all the default settings that I recorded all of the sample footage in. So obviously you can. Uh, play with all these settings to get you know a different look but I'm uh, I'm not obviously I'm not going to make a five hour video and test every possible combination of settings if you have a if you guys have a specific uh, set of settings that you'd like to see let me know in the comments below maybe I can make a separate video for ones that are highly requested but yeah I'm just going to show you footage from this camera the way it came from the factory. Okay, here's some side-by-side -side footage of the Firefly 2 uh, next to the Mobius Mini. My uh, Mobius Mini battery does not last more than about 30 seconds, so unfortunately this is the only side-by-side -side footage you're going to be able to see. Uh, but basically give you an idea of what something in, the, in a similar price range might look like. I'm not really sure if the Mobius Mini is still for sale or not. Um, and couldn't really find any other comparable cameras in the $50 price range. Okay, so this footage here was captured on a sunny day in the middle of the day. And as you can see, as I'm going into the sun, uh, the image is quite dark. Um, I think the exposure is off. Some things with the wide dynamic range, just something's off with it. I'm not exactly sure with this, what's going on with this firmware. So as I go away from the sun, as the sun's behind me, or the behind the camera, the images look a lot better in these sunny conditions. Now this next uh, clip here is on a cloudy day. Also, I think it's about the same same time of day. And again, as I'm going into the sun, it does look darker. Uh, 
but it does look better than it does on sunny conditions. So it seems like um, uh, it, when the, the, the light is not as intense, the, the, the I guess the exposure being really dark pointing to the sun isn't as bad as before. Now this last uh, clip here is uh, I think a different part of the day. I think it's like more towards the end of the day. So the sun's actually on the other side of the park where I'm where I'm flying here, the same park. So you can see again as I'm going into the sun, which is on the other side now, uh, you have that same effect where the image turns very dark towards the ground, um, but then when you go away, it looks better. So I think something's going on with this firmware. I'm gonna have to look into that. So I will probably. Uh, get back to you guys on this uh, in terms of maybe getting a firmware update or something like that for this, this camera. It seems like uh, some exposure issues are a problem right now on this particular camera. <laughs>